Hey guys, welcome to Euro Truck Simulator. Yeah, I felt like recording something different midweek. Well, midweek for me, bear in mind I didn't record Monday. So, Euro Truck, we're in Ireland, we're in Dublin. And we're going to be, well, we've got a low loader on the back. This is, well, this isn't the video that should have gone up last week before some dumbass aka me deleted it. So, kind of redoing it and middle of the week. This truck, I was just perusing on the SES forums, like, I wonder if there's anything new for Euro Truck, and this truck I've used before. Then I saw they've equipped a huge winch for it. Then I was going through the paint collection, and there was a military paint job. I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> you guys know me and military stuff, I'm a sucker for it, and especially as this would be believably be a military kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, we've got a new truck for the fleet. So, it, as I described this back in the day when I first did a video on this, this truck is basically, if you guys played My Summer Car, you've driven the tanker version of this truck. I believe it's the same truck. Just this has got the Cummins in it instead of the very underpowered Rolls Royce engine. Anyway, we'll fire it up. Get some lighting on. Park and brake off, and we'll drive forward. I believe this is where our load is, it should be. Park and brake on, enter, cargo market. There it is, container lift. Going from Dublin to Belfast. And if it's a short video, we'll, we'll uh, get a Another uh, tripping. And I just realised this. I didn't put any beacon lights on this. Oh well. Shouldn't need them with this load at least. So this trailer that I got from Jazzy Cat. It's a newer one. Uh, I've not seen this one. Before up until just last week when I found it, so we, we pick that up, and it does have the rear steel, which I inevitably will end up swearing at because it's a pain in the ass to reverse with. I really wish in the game you could switch that crap off. That's this trailer stocking game that have it. It would be nice if you could switch it off before doing manoeuvres like this, backing up and stuff. Driving makes a world of difference. Backing up, I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Be nice if you could switch it off. I'm going to lose air pressure in a minute at this rate, jeez. Now, what I should have done, actually, in hindsight, and I will probably do this at some point, is grab, if this low loader has it, if not, I'll find one where we can take a military cargo. Ownable military cargo one. Enter. Switch that off, switch the lights off, engine off. Now enter. And it'll take us from five, well, quarter past five to six. No, ten to six. So it's a bit more daylight. Not overhanging. Yeah, we're good. Well, it is kind of. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Okay, engine. Parking brake. And away we get. You can see the truck a bit better now. Lights. Yeah, we'll put the rear one on. So, 130 miles. Now, obviously, I'm in pro mods before people wonder how I'm in here.
This truck's got 400 horse, so it should be plenty of get up and go for cargo we've got on the back, hopefully. Well, that was my other worry when I saw Continue this truck. Straight. Oh, good lord, I forgot I had you installed. Continue straight. right. Let me turn that down, because that was incredibly loud, actually. As I was saying, uh, before I was rudely interrupted by Google. Is it Google? Yeah, I believe it's Google. Uh, audio. I was worried that... The... Uh, truck engines wouldn't be particularly good for the modern cargo we have in the game. And that's the big problem with having some of the older trucks. I, I love them. You guys know I'm a huge proponent for uh, the older stuff. Now, the, uh, the older stuff, typically people make them legit. And doing that, the engine horsepower is very weak for the cargoes that we have in the game now. Which sucks at times. Uh, the perfect example for that is the Model R Mac. I love that truck. But unless you download the tweak that use got the right lane, then use the left lane. put up on the uh, Steam Workshop to add an extra couple of engines that were from a later model into it, it doesn't have enough power for the cargo the stock the game has default. And to my knowledge, there's really not many cargoes out there that would be suited to it otherwise. That'd be decent. I think I... Yeah. I just did something that... One of the junctions from where I'm from in the UK, I would have hated people doing. Luckily we've got no one over there. Oops. Anyway, we're off. So yeah, some of the trucks can be just too underpowered for the modern cargo that we have. Unfortunately. And we're on the road again. So this truck supposedly has 400 horse. It's a Cummins engine. Like I said, it's, you can pick Rolls Royce Cummins. Rolls Royce is uh, like mid 300 horse, which yeah, I probably would have been okay with that, and probably more classic for this. But uh, I think we'll go with the uh, ro uh, with the Cummins instead of the Rolls. Now, this being a military one, <laughs> it probably would believe would have had the Rolls Royce. We'll probably train it. I don't know. Even then, it's. Taking a bit of get up to steam. Which is about right. Alright, cruises on. Now, from what I remember, this truck. It's a decent truck. It really is. It's one I recommend. It's a shame. Unless you know really about the SCS forums and the fact there's mods up there, people just see the Steam Workshop and go, oh, that's pretty much all the mods, or there's other websites, but yeah. Mm, that's, that's probably the starter. Yep. We, we're all over the shop. Now, it's kind of funny that the video from last week I accidentally deleted. Because I forgot to get a thumbnail, and the thumbnail will just come out crap. I like this truck. It's, it's neat. You can see I've tried to get the color right with the low loader too, which I haven't. Inevitably, you cannot do it. The, the colour scheme that I've got on the truck right now was in the, the colours under military, so I just put that straight in.
look forward to promos when they finish up the well, I say finish up but do the initial release of the Canada one for American trucks and you guys know I'm gonna just hammer that oh boy you know probably end up live streaming it to be fair I've gone to the hunter of late as well again and ah I'm so tempted to stream that or whatever but it's a case of usually we I can't unless unless I stream and do a multiplayer on it over on Twitch just a fun stream at some point I may put that out there if, if there's anyone that's got the hunter and who can do it But inevitably, you may get someone that comes in and ruins it for everyone and acts like a dick. And you're scoping up an animal to shoot and they just run up behind you. Poof, or an ATV, which I'd probably inevitably switch off. I don't know. No, I can't move over, but... I apologize. All right, I'm gonna get a thumbnail just as we are crossing the border. Hopefully that was perfectly timed. Screenshot mode. By the can you tell I just dropped the controller? Okay, where was I? There, yeah, it's gonna be perfect actually because the sun is going to be the correct side of where I want it. Oh, dang, yeah, it's gonna look awesome. That's kind of believable, too. Although the model on the back of that truck's kind of questionable. Alright, my usual slant. Uh, zoom that bad boy in. The uh, low loader color's a bit too dark. I don't think you can get a real decent military green in the, the game, too. Don't worry, I'm not going to make everything military before people start wondering that one. Uh, field of view... Uh, no, because it's blurring the damn truck. Or the trailer there. Or the cargo, even. Uh, saturation. That's blur strength. That. Yeah, even that doesn't look right. There we go. Boom, you're done. Does the wipers not work in this truck? Check to make sure my configs aren't messed up. Hazard one lights, light modes. Beacon horn, wipers. Oh! Why don't I have that bound? That was weird. He's got all the different modes of the wipers in. Sweet. All right, we are trigger finger flat to the uh, controller. Do 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 do. Jeez. 
Jeez, the broken down vehicles. The crashed vehicles. Mm. I'll leave our side lights on. Do we see a switch for that? Wiper one works with it. There probably is, I'm just not gonna go look for it and crash. Alright, 50 mile an hour. We're off the uh, cruise. I want to see what we can actually get this up to. We're in another gear. We're top gear now. Or 12th gear. I think that's all in Polish, though, too. Looks like it. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. We'll finish. And we're going to have to come off the accelerator because this looks like a roundabout. Bit of engine brake. So we're going right over the roundabout. I like how they've put in uh, traffic with trailers and stuff now in the game. It's pretty cool. Of course, that's a Pro Mods vehicle right there, but I think it is at least. If it continues straight, I'll be coming off the frickin' roundabout. Continue straight. Left. Turn left. Yeah, see, the game doesn't even know there's a roundabout there with the uh, voice Turn guidance. Left. So, a pro mods, the voice guidance thing is kind of broken, so I'm surprised! I, I guess... I don't know how the game works with the triggers for the voice guide and stuff, but I'm surprised if it's simple enough, possibly even automated, where they could just do it in bulk, unless unless they manually have to go through and manually put each trigger point to go, okay, at this point, the GPS will say this if you're going around the roundabout. But I'm surprised Promos haven't bought out a pack for that or anything like that. Depends how complicated it is. It probably isn't simple. Now, how many people use voice guidance in the first place? I don't know. It's probably quite a few. It's uh, more immersion than anything. Now, I was tempted to put a GPS system down there, but for the sake of the videos, I like having the on-screen HUD for the video, or for the GPS there. You guys can see the gears, you can see the speed, you can see the time, you can see how long we've got left. A bit more interactive for you guys. That's my, my opinion on it. Some people will that do truck sim stuff, strip it bare, and literally just IRL, like IRL, use the mirrors and everything. Well, with me, I've got the little mirror up in the top right hand corner there, which is probably inevitably covered by my logo. But you guys can't see it, and that's for me more than it is you. Use the left lane. Left. Here's the left lane. Will do. Use the left lane. Then turn left. Turn left. Do we have a switch for the engine brake? No. Oh, is the light going green? Really? <laughs> to gather my life together apparently I'll go through it okay that can go off that clicking's annoying and I got Tesco every little helps yeah every little helps the car park's empty good lord Use the right lane. horse meat Kind of actually unsettling the fact the car park was empty though. They need to put some vehicles on that. Populated a little. It's not like I'm using a uh, car park or anything. Jersey Cat stuff seemed hollow broken the last few updates, so I've not even touched it. Now, granted, the FPS with DirectX 11 
is through the frickin' roof. It's unreal, the FPS I'm getting now, compared to what I used to. Right, right now I'm getting 55 just before then. I was deep in the 60s. The performance increase... Ooh. The performance increase to, from going from what, how they were using OpenGL to begin with, I think, or a real old version of the DirectX, is phenomenal. Belfast discovered. I will be turning left. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more of this truck. Uh, I think I'm going to be using it quite a bit. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. No, this isn't a ferry crossing or anything. We are at our destination. Oh, what? The spot's here to just say, I'm here. I thought this was the parking area. Oh, for the love of God. Enter. I was going to catch on the fence then. Oh well. Sucks, but oh well. You want me to go where? That yeah, should be entertaining. Brakes. And if you guys didn't know, I'm using the Michelin tires. The Goodyear tires that come out, uh, the tires at the end of the day, you don't see them half the time, but I'm a fan. I guess I, I, I like the, the tires that are deep treaded, look like, well, I guess, friggin' logging tires. And, yeah, for me personally, not a fan. Kudos to ProMods on this parking spot. Of course, I've put two freaking containers right where you could pull forward. And get yourself squared up. Now, the interior in that truck, you can go two different interiors. Jeez. This is what I hate about the rear steer. Actually, to may help the issue, I'll dump the two axles there. Yeah, you can go two interiors. You can go the exclusive, which is kind of a quilted looking interior, or one that just looks like straight carpet, which is the one I've gone with. Both the same color. And by the looks of the way it's going dark all of a sudden in game, it's probably gonna start raining. There we go. See, the trailer wanted to overcrack them, and I just don't know. Then it wants to do it even more. I, I can never catch the trailer. I can back a normal trailer up in the game all day long, but you put a rear wheel steer on the thing, and good lord, it's horrid. But for driving, it's fantastic. Alright, park. Parking brake. Neutral's already in. Switch the lights off. Engine off. Enter, and the job is done. And we have a 25 minute video. Perfect. So, until next time, I hope you guys have enjoyed. We'll be back tomorrow, probably with normal farm sim. I uh, just wanted to throw this up to break up the week. Um, inevitably, there probably won't be a truck sim video Saturday. 
Still got to do some odd reviews. It's almost one o'clock and I still have to have lunch. So until next time, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We'll see you guys on the next one. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Back to Ireland we are. For now at least. See ya.